Well, but, okay, yeah, good, one thing we did gloss over, man, and I think it'd be interesting mm. to hear more about it, was the switch from Red Bull. I think that is a massive thing yes. for an athlete to do, isn't it? And I think I think even, well, in our circles, especially mountain biking, someone comes off Red Bull. It's huge news. People are speculating. Why have they done mm. it? All this sort of stuff. So what? how did that, you know, obviously when you signed, that must have been like massive and oh my God, like this is it. Mm. And then you choose, actually, choose to be to honest, away. mate, I actually, I actually hated it. I hated right. wearing that helmet. It was like the worst, ugliest looking helmet ever, wasn't it? Like, come on, let's be honest. <laughs> like, I'm not hating on Red Bull or anything, but like wearing that helmet, I just felt like such a twat. <laughs> wow. That's good. Like, we had like, some honesty here. I, I like this. I guess, I guess, I guess it is. Okay, I just, I'm, I'm not going to say about, about I, the helmet and how they look, but it is a target, mm, isn't it? Like yeah, once that yeah, thing's on, target, mate. it's a, everyone's expected. And the and the pressure, lot. like you go yeah. to like, and back then there was less Red Bull athletes, and I, I mean there was only a couple of us, and I just turn up to everywhere, and you just like eyes on you constantly, yeah. you're like literally just every, and I hated that. I'm, I'm like a guy who likes to wear black, who's just like does like to just not be standing out like I, I don't like to stand out and and I think it really put a lot of pressure on me so as soon as that kind of deal came in where it was like you know I've done it now I've, I've been on Red Bull for a couple of years like it's been cool the experience has been amazing I didn't the, the team manager that I signed with at Red Bull um, from the beginning left and I didn't get on with the next guy and it was just uh, it was just the right time to go, and and I don't think there was any speculation or anything. It just kind of, um, it was just yeah, just kind of naturally ended, and it was a way to just go off to Nike. And the guy, the Nike team manager, was one a, a re- who really looked after me and like was and really supported me and stuff from a young age, and and it was just fitted, and it just all happened, and it. Yeah, it was pretty surreal to be honest. Like mm. flying out to Amsterdam, went out to de- like to the the headquarters, Nike headquarters in Oregon, and the whole thing was amazing. Signing the contract and stuff, and yeah, it was pretty cool. That's awesome. That's really cool. Mm. And again, sorry to keep going back, but I think there's a few interesting things that you said, right? And I also love the fact that you all of a sudden landed these massive deals. So. Mm what you know obviously that's that's huge for anyone but like your parents and stuff what did they think all of a sudden you've started going to this dry ski slope for a bit and then all of a sudden in not a lot of space time really you're signing with oakley you know red bull etc you know do you remember how that all happened like when do you decide to get an agent how do you trust someone all that sort of stuff (sighs) i've had my bad i've had some bad runnings with agents if i'm honest like i've never i've just never got on with any of them like the first agent i had worked for i don't know if you heard of oregon Oregon yeah. agency yeah they're like an agency in in the US and I like some of them but that guy was so like I, like he was lovely but we just didn't you know when you just don't work well together yeah. and yeah. Um, it just didn't work and then and then left and then obviously when and that was like really he it I felt like every time I'm with an agent I feel like the ending's always awful like they want to try and claw out as much money as from you as possible it's yeah. like a failed divorce or like a failed wet, like marriage, yeah. you know, like if, if it's end things end badly, it doesn't go the right way. And, and I've had that twice. So now I'm like, fuck oh, signing with any agent. So oh, do you do it, it yourself now, yeah? No, I just do everything myself, mate. It's way easier and I make more money. Did you enjoy this clip? If so, please like and subscribe. The full episode is available by hitting one of the links on the screen right now or type the Ride Companion into your favourite podcast app. We've even put links in the show description for you. Cheers.